before you vote in the next election it is pertinent that you know the historical background and the agenda and tenet of all the political parties that has ever existed in nigeria the first political party that was formed in nigeria was formed in the year 1923 the national democratic party of nigeria formed under the leadership of sir abat macaulay who was then properly known as the father of nigeria nationalism this political party came into existence after the introduction of Sir Clifford Constitution. This is to say that we had the political party after the colonial masters they must fit to have the political party. This party never had a national outlook. Her activities was only restricted to Lagos State. This party won three registrative council seats in Lagos State. The elections of 1923, the elections of 1928, and the elections of 1933. And then another political party was formed in 1935 called the National Youth Movement. This political party featured the likes of Ernesto Kodi, Samuel Akinseya. This political party, like the first one, didn't have a national outlook. Her activities was also restricted only in Lagos State. But something happened. After the end of the Second World War, between 1939 to 1945, new political parties were formed in Nigeria. In 1944, NCNC, National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon, was formed by Sir Abad Makoli. And the Secretary General was Dr. Namdi Azukiwe, but upon the death of Abad Makoli, Namdi Azukiwe took over. This political party, was the only party that could say to have a national outlook because he had other members to be part of it. The NCNC, on August 1944, when the southern part of Cameroon left Nigeria, the name of that political party was changed to National Council of Nigerian Citizens. Another political party was formed in 1951 called the MPC, the Northern People's Congress. This political party came as a cultural organization of what was called the Jemaya Mutana Arewa. The founder of this political party was Letsa Amadu Bello. The vice was Tafala Barewa. This political party produced the first prime minister in Nigeria. It ruled and controlled the northern part of Nigeria between 1951 to 1965. This political party was mainly for the northerners and had an Islamic agenda. The third political party was AG, the action group, which was headed by Chief Fabafemi Awolowo. This party was also formed in the year 1951, just like the MPC. This party featured the likes of Fabafemi Awolowo and Samuel Akintola and many others. This party came as a cultural organization of Egbe Omo Odudua. Apologies to the Yorubas if I do not pronounce that very well. But this political party was a regional political party. There were other minor political parties, just like the Northern Element Progressive Union, the Dynamic Party, the United Middle Belt Congress, the Brony Youth Movement. These political parties in the First Republic had only one agenda. There were other agendas, but this agenda was what stood out, and that is to awaken the consciousness of Nigerian people towards the struggle for political independence. These political parties were regional in outlook and were based on ethnic sentiment. And then another political party were formed after the First Republic was over and there was a military interruption. The Second Republic came between 1979 and 1983. Fedeco the Federal Electoral Commission registered five political parties to contest in that election. The Nigeria People's Party, the Unity Party of Nigeria, the Nigeria People's Party, the Great Nigeria People's Party, and the People's Redemption Party. Five political parties contested in that election. And then, later on, FEDECO, the Federal Electoral Commission, in 1982, registered another political party, Nigeria Advance Party in order for them to contest in the year 1983. That election saw the leadership of Sir Alahaji Shewu Shagari, which vice was Alex Ekweme. 
but that democracy was sacked by General Muhammad Buhari. And then we went to the Third Republic that was shot. This Third Republic was not like others. It featured only two political parties, the Social Democratic Party, and then the National Republican Convention. It is not wrong to say that this political party was imposed on the Nigerian people because her manifestos was military oriented during the time of Ibrahim Babangida. And then we went to the First Republic, INEC, Independent National Electoral Commission, registered so many parties because we are now in democracy practicing multi-party system. And then they registered many parties, but three was outstanding and notable to know. BDP, the People's Democratic Party, Alliance for Democracy, and All People's Party. What is pertinent to know is the agenda of all these political parties irrespective of the republic that they were formed. The first political parties were formed in order to awaken in the Nigerian people the consciousness to achieve political independence. The second one was introduced to introduce us to democracy and multi-party system. The third was brought to us as a result of the frustrations that Nigerian people had in the military government. The fourth came to achieve, to reintroduce again after we had military interruption of democracy. And here we are in the Fourth Republic with so many political parties, the PDP, the APC, the APCO, the Labour Party, which is the sunshine of coming time in the recent minds of the Nigerian youths, and so many political parties. From time immemorial, the people, as always, voted for political parties and not individuals. Today, the people are being advised to vote for people who have demonstrated ideas because for so many years, they have hypnotized the people with ethnic sentiment, trying to make the people believe that political parties should be voted and not individuals. And they have ended up creating segments in our nation. Vote right, vote your conscience, vote someone who has the right to change the narratives and arrest the thieves. Remember Africa, remember Nigeria, wisdom, is the principal thing.